Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel My Project Ideas. In this video, we'll be discussing a C++ based simple authentication verification application in which it will be a process to log in into the particular portal. Basically, this software verifies your uh, data and then provides you an legitimate and uh, legal access with a stable workflow workflow for the access uh, to access the resources of portal and the facilities provided that server head. So initially, as far as requirements of building this model is concerned, we require C++ programming language and a Visual Studio code or any other IDE. I have specifically mentioned Visual Studio code as I have generally used Visual Studio code as uh, uh, that's why I have mentioned uh, Visual Studio code out here as I have uh, specifically built the code on in C++ uh, on Visual Studio code. So uh, with that being said, let's get started. Uh, initially, we have included all the necessary libraries that is uh, IOStream and BIT standard C++.h, which is basically the uh, father of all libraries in C++. Basically, this library in C++ is termed as father of all libraries in C++. The next, we have uh, uh, declared some variables like login, user, username, login times, password, login, password. Uh, then we have created a simple UI that will print some of these messages on the screen. Uh, you can see that uh, as I uh, hit the run button, uh, you will see welcome to login registration system. Uh, then it will uh, ask the command to exit login or register. And then accordingly, the process will start. The Basically, this the logic behind this entire pro, uh, code is if the uh, data or the details entered uh, by the user in the registration phase matches with the data or uh, uh, details entered in the uh, login phase, then the user will be uh, stated as successfully logged in. Otherwise, you will be uh, told as invalid credentials or you should one, try once again. Basically, you have totally uh, total three chances to uh, enter the correct details uh, and the uh, code will particularly check that whether the information uh, entered in the registration phase is equal to the information uh, uh, entered in the uh, login phase. If the information and data is equal, then uh, we are logged in successfully and if it is not equal, we are uh, we will redirect it to as invalid credentials. Registered successfully uh, when you have done with the uh, uh, verified details. So this was basically a command while while command is not equal to exit. When the command is not equal to ex exit means the command is uh, register or login. So we will ask the user to enter these following details. Next, we have a variable uh, uh, in the form of long times which is initiated as three. Uh, as, as I have mentioned earlier that you have only three chances to uh, enter the correct details. Then we have a while loop inside it and we are decrementing the while, uh, long time variable by one. If, we, uh, if you start entering wrong details in the uh, in the form of login and password, then the, this long time variable will decrement by one and accordingly if, if it reaches zero means you have to enter wrong details three times. Now it's time to block that particular server, server for you. So you will not be able to log in, uh, log in again. So this was basically a checking phase. I have, as I mentioned earlier, this is the main logic of the entire program that if the law, if the details entered by the user in the registration phase matches with the detail details entered in the, by the user in the lo uh, login phase, then we will be told as logged in successfully. And uh, hence the program is ready for us. This is basically an entire C++ ap application to build a basic verification uh, authentication sy system. Let's see the output of this particular code. Uh, so as you can see that initially it will ask uh, that uh, initially it will ask the command. So we'll write the command as register first. I need to register myself. Then uh, here it is asking the username. So I'm uh, 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 writing the username as my problem solver. My problem solver. I'm write, uh, writing the password as root labs. Registered, uh, registered successfully. Now this particular data is stored in the database uh, of this particular portal and it is uh, showing that we, you have registered successfully. Now if you need to log into that particular portal to access the facilities and the services provided by that portal, you need to log into that portal with the same credentials as you entered in the registration phase. So I will uh, now, well, I will change the command to login. Initially I have registered, now I will login. Login here is asking the username, so I am uh, writing the username as my problem solver. solver. So I'll write it as my problem solver. 
password as root labs logged in successfully welcome my problem solver so as you can see that initially we have uh, initially it was a registration phase in which we have registered the uh, username and the password the next it was the login phase where we have entered the same details as we have entered in the registration phase so it is popping up the messages that you have registered successfully uh, logged in successfully and welcome to that particular portal so this was basically an entire c++ uh, code to build the basic verification system in C++, which helps us to maintain the data integrity and the privacy of the users and helps to establish a stable workflow of the process to, for login and, and accessing the uh, portal details. This also shows that this, this also let us uh, allow the users, legitimate users to access our portal. So basically, I, uh, this was entire code of C++. I, I, I hope guys, the things are precise uh, and understandable enough. The code is precise and clear enough. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Uh, we'll be discussing some more technical st stuff in, in upcoming videos. Till then, keep growing and keep exploring. And please do subscribe to our channel My Project Ideas to get some more, more interesting stuff in technical domains. Thank you so much.